Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to tutorial number two for my holiday series. I'm really excited about this tutorial today because it is currently 1.08 in the morning and I'm filming with my boyfriend and my dog asleep, but I am so excited about it because I'm finally able to stay up and film and enjoy and play with makeup and all of the above because I'm not in school anymore, so. Oh my gosh, here we go. I created this holiday look right here. I decided to go with a classy look, you know, with the winged liner, dramatic enough falsies, and of course the red lip. So yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I just got this Christmas where I'm actually wearing this for Christmas, so it's gonna be a little repetitive, but I got this from a store called G-Stage, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and film in it, and you know, just kind of be all Christmas vibes. Um, obviously I got a really cute backdrop, some snowflakes. I'm really excited. There's six days left till Christmas. So, ooh, I'm going to hopefully try to get this video out. Hopefully two more, but for sure one more before Christmas. Anyway, um, with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up while you're watching it and subscribe. Alrighty, so to start off, I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Um, this is actually one of my first times using it in this tutorial, and now that I've used it for about a week, I like it. It's not my favorite. Every Ulta that's around me does not have my shade in the Shape Tape Concealer, so for now, this will have to do. Um, anywho, back to the tube. Yeah, so I am just priming my lids, prepping them, that way I can put shadow on them, using a flat concealer brush just to get every single area on my eyelid. And of course, to blend that out better, I'm using a beauty blender. And then onto the setting powder, I'm using airspun, and again, getting my beauty blender and just applying that all over the lid, that way I can easily apply those shadows. This brush, I think it's from ELF, yeah, just using that to dust off any excess powder. Moving on to the Morphe 39A palette, I'm using that transition shade right there. I'll go ahead and put the names of the shades in the description box. And just using that to transition the next color right here, I'm using like a different shade of brown. It comes out kind of orange actually on my skin. but. I'm using that as well on the lid and the crease, just kind of blending it all out. And then moving on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette, I'm using that shimmery white color. It's really, really beautiful because it has gold flakes in it, so it's kind of iridescent, so to speak. And excuse that clob of, <laughs> of shadow that was on the other eyelid. Anyway, now that we're all blended out, I am going back in with a blending brush and just blending that all in, making sure that everything is completely good to go. Onto eyeliner, I am using NYX Cosmetics Black Liquid Eyeliner. This eyeliner is so bomb and so precise. I love it. Great alternative to the NYC liquid liner since they don't sell it anymore. This is for sure up there. And just applying that eyeliner, giving myself a pretty semi-dramatic wing. Excuse the crazy faces that I make when I put on my eyeliner. And yes, we are sharp, girl. And then, of course, I'm just going into the inner eye, making sure that the liner goes easily from the inner all the way to the outer. On to lashes, I'm using my favorite lashes by Luxie Lash. These are the style Home Girl. These have been my favorite lashes literally for the past like two years. So freaking bomb. And applying some mascara. Going on to foundation, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I believe this is in, ooh, I don't remember. I wanna say it's light medium or light beige. And using a beauty blender to blend all of my foundation out. Oops, got some on my hair. Don't trip. I'll be cleaning that up shortly. On to concealer. I'm going back into the it, Cos it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And applying this underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, Cupid's bow, and my chin. 
back to the beauty blender blending it all out and then of course I want my eyeliner to be super super sharp so I'm getting that concealer and making sure to sharpen the winged liner and blend it out with the powder I'm just baking a little bit setting it all in putting it everywhere I concealed making sure that there are no patchy spots whatsoever and going back in with that ELF brush I am just dusting all the powder off on to oh my gosh you can't even tell which ones that, <laughs> which ones that I'm using but I think I'm using all three of those shades I'm pretty sure I am and I'm using an angled uh, blush brush from Morphe I believe this is the E4 I'm not quite sure and contouring my nose, contouring my cheeks, my head, my chin, everything good to go. And then blending it out again with the Beauty Blender. I swear, I think the Beauty Blender is one thing in the world that I need. On to blush, I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics. I mean, come on. This is my favorite blush. Party. Yes, it's like the beautiful, perfect light pink. And then on to highlight using some Fix Plus, spraying it on my Morphe M501 highlighting brush. Dude, this highlight is so amazing and I'm almost out of it. This is Rodea Drive by Ofra Cosmetics. Yes, I'm so sad. I, it's not even that I hit pan. I literally just broke it and there's like nothing left. So I'm using what is left. For the mascara, just, a putting, just applying that and putting it on the bottom lashes now. And then moving on to my lips, I'm using the color Arriba by I Love Sarahi and ColourPop. This is literally the perfect red, true, true red. I mean, it's not too pink. It doesn't have too much of a blue undertone. It's literally perfect. And just finishing up the lips and making sure they are perfect, pretty, pouty, and red. And that is pretty much it. Okay, this is like the third time I'm trying to film my ending spiel. I feel a little weird just because everyone's asleep on the couch. So I'm like, try to be quiet, try not to be too loud. Um, I hope you guys loved this tutorial. If you didn't already give it a thumbs up, make sure you do before you leave. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next tutorial for my holiday series. So stay tuned.